Hello, everyone. It is your old pal, Living Dead. And welcome back to Elementalism. This is Fallen City of Hadania. It is map four of the Earth Realm. And uh, I won't even bother looking at the monster count because, as we've discovered previously, it doesn't matter what it says at the beginning of the map. Monsters are spawned into the map out of the ether, which is something you can do with UDMF scripting. And it increases the monster count when it happens. So no need to tuck monsters randomly away into voodoo doll closets or uh, not voodoo doll closets, but just closets in general. You can just kind of summon them out of the ether. And uh, yeah. Um, and it seems like these maps make a substantial use of this. Already just off to some incredible, I mean, just... Thought I'd let you soak in that, that music there for a second and just kind of looking at the vibe of this place. I think we're in for something incredible with this map. Um, a, a fallen city, and we are underground... Uh, based on the end of the last map. All the maps are kind of like continued, uh, like clicked together. What do we got here? Legends of a great accursed city swallowed by the jungle following a great unspeakable disaster were proven true when the decaying ruins of Hadania were discovered by temple scholars. Unprepared for the discovery and subsequent reawakening of the creature that would become known as the God Parasite. The temple disavowed the expeditions, but the fate of the Earth Realm was already sealed. Ominous. And we have been receiving some hints of this lore leading up to that. Each map features its own little stone tablet at the beginning that kind of gives you some details about what is going on in this place. So... Unfortunately, the worshippers of the serpent, or whatever the thing was called, uncovered something buried deep beneath the ground of the Earth Realm, and awoken, awakened it, awakened it from a slumber, and it brought ruin to their world. And here we are. Now we're here just stirring everything back up because, uh, you know, ostensibly we're saving the world, but from my perspective, it looks like we're kind of <laughs> just stirring the pot a little bit. If we're retreading this old ground, but we'll see. Maybe we can yet save this place. One nice thing about elementalism is the shotgun spread has been dialed in quite a bit, which means it's easier to hit things at longer range. And at close range, it just does more damage because it's far more likely that all of the pellets are going to hit everything in front of you. So, uh, enemies take more damage just on average. Just the, the scale of this area is just... Man. I might, you know, I'm, I'm going to take my time with this playthrough because, uh, there's a lot to take in here and I want to make sure, you know, anybody who's just kind of watching and trying to get the experience without necessarily taking the time to play themselves can appreciate what this looks like. Hopefully we don't fucking appreciate this because that was a really mean ambush. <laughs> what if it was like actual revenants on top of it? Instead of these melee revenants who uh, we can't really can't really use the uh melee cheese with these guys because they have a lunge to their melee attack so they can still get you even if you back up away from them so they're a little dangerous compared to regular revenants in terms of the melee um this is the only way we haven't gone I'd be very excited to see what's on the other side of this thing and I'm I have no idea, but I'm anticipating this. This has got to be like a huge map, right? I mean, it's a lost city. Fallen city of Hadania. What a cool setup. This, this like, you know, ancient civilization. Got these cool temple aesthetic going on. So, you know, it gives you almost like, you know, older 
Central American uh, civilization vibes. But there is a lot more under the surface. Wow, holy shit. Look at the scale of this area. I mean, I under- Oh my god. That's not good. I killed- I'm pretty sure I killed these guys with just, uh... Plasma gun spam last time. I have no idea how much health they actually have. I'm gonna guess. Quite a lot. So I'm gonna probably run out of ammo if I don't try to figure out what to do. Where do I go? Oh! Guess we're dropping down. Oh, okay. They have a decent amount of health, but they're not like fucking cyber demons or anything. Got some arachnatrons over there. So I know this is like technically the Doom engine. Um, it is. I mean, basically Doom and name only at this point because of just. You. Nothing. Nothing even remotely close to this is possible in the standard Doom engine. I won't say that's. I mean. You can make things that, like, look good and, like, look big in the standard Doom engine, but you have limitations. You, if you're, especially if you're doing vanilla compatibility, you have real limitations to what you can do. And you can't just make stuff that looks like this. Even in some of the more advanced, uh, Doom formats. So, where do we go? Do I need to keep going downward? I guess so. I'm glad that the pump shotgun is, like, reliably killing these stone imps in two every single time. They are... definitely a lot deadlier. That last map that just had that whole arena is filled with them, that, that shit was hard. Alright, well, the Arachnotron is kind of neutered a little bit by the geography. Um... I just love... This reminds me of, um... The swamp from like Dark Souls. Well, from every Souls game, actually, I should say. <laughs> um, I mean, a lot about this reminds me of Dark Souls in general. Ooh, is there a secret up here? Can I get up there? Stop! Stop! I want to get a secret. Maybe I'll just get up there naturally by going through the level. How many secrets are on this map? Five? Probably missed one at least. At least by now. If I haven't found one. This feels like a map where you'd get like a super shotgun early in a secret. Oof. I am... Um, wow. Did pretty good on that one. gonna uncover the chaos flame buried under here. Oh, shit. These guys are actually a little, a little dangerous by themselves. Especially when you only have the pump shotgun. And it looks like rocket launcher is what we're getting next. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. Of course you're gonna freaking spawn an enemy literally right next to me when you give me the rocket launcher. Such a mean thing to do. One thing I will say is that, uh... You know, free look actually... gives you a little bit more... uh... leeway in how you design the map as well, because... If you, if you know the player can shoot something, then you can make, you know, things that would traditionally be a little bit more unfair in Doom. Vanilla Doom, or even like Boom and stuff like that, where you don't have free look on. Uh, you know, you can just... <clears throat> make things a little bit more complicated vertically, and it doesn't really, you know, make the map kind of annoying to play, or even unplayable in some ways. Uh, 
Oh, there's a berserk over there. That looks like a secret. Um, I never... Did I ever... Yeah, I got... Yeah, I was near the, the water wheel, right? The one cave that I was talking about? Yeah, of course. Um, let's see. I keep going this way. A little platforming. It's very exciting. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Here we go. Super shotgun. I knew something was going to happen. Nobody can just give you a super shotgun. Everyone's got to make you work for it. I did that in one of my in my and actually my first map. You uh I think one of the best aspects of that map is that there's a trap that uh catches people off guard when they go for the super shotgun. Makes you work for it. So, I can't really complain. I just find it funny to point it out. Everybody's everybody's got to make you work for the super shotgun. I wonder if there's a quicker way back up. Looks like it'll this will all kind of like loop back together a couple of times is what I'm picking up from that. This is the cave I saw from down there, right? Okay. I didn't have time to kind of piece that together while I was fighting. I, I kind of forgot to come back and think about it, so... Anyways, on the way back up... Doesn't take that long to return to where we were, at least. hoo Got a nice little berserk out of it, although I don't think I've really taken a whole lot of advantage of the berserk in this set so far. I swear, the detailing in this is... I mean, just the, the visual fidelity in general is just incredible. I was talking to, uh... Snacksalotl, and she, you know, offered the opinion that it is kind of, uh... I think to the effect of a glorified tech demo with the Doom skin slapped on it. And, uh... I don't think that's necessarily untrue at all. You know, this is... I mean, this looks nothing like Doom in terms of just the... architecture, the scale, the theme. I, you've, you, you have seen stuff that is in the realm of this kind of idea in Doom. Uh, but I think this is just in a league of its own and just kind of barely resembles and uh, I think that so I think that's kind of true but you know for my money I am glad that this takes place in in Doom because Doom is basically my favorite shooter so you combine like the levels kind of remind me in some ways of like the scope of something like a medieval uh, which came out with like 2018 or so 2019 and it was kind of like a slight riff on Heretic. It, it kind of, in some very reductive way. Um, it famously featured Andrew Holschultz to compose the soundtrack, who does literally every soundtrack now. I hope we don't get to a point where that guy's music gets overplayed, because he's really good. And uh, he's almost becoming like the Hans Zimmer of video game composition. But, uh, you know, so you got something like that, but it's like, put it in, put it in the Doom engine so I can play Doom with it. It's like, hell yeah, I'll take that. I love that. So much fun to play Doom. I'll take, I'll take very complicated levels with my Doom any day. Oof, that was dangerous. I probably should have spammed rockets, but, you know, I don't have that many left. Go to the chain gun at least. These stone imps, man, they're they're mean. 
Got a lot of health. Got very broad shoulders for imps. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, there you go. Take that right out of Quake. Very fitting. Oh, wow. This is just insane. Huge swamp. This... I mean, this makes that area look tiny in comparison. Now we're dealing with stuff that's like belongs from Unreal. You could very easily be like Napoli adjacent with the visuals of this. That's what it feels like to me. All right, we're getting a little bit of crystal, crystal ammunition. What are we going to fight? A cyber demon. Oh, God. Yeah. I think, I think this, I think we can let infighting take care of a lot of this. Cyber demon in here? Shit, I don't know. With some of these guys, cyber demon might even, you know, not, not be quite as, uh, resilient in a situation like this because of these advanced enemies. I don't know. I mean, it's not like he can just one-shot these pinkies. I think... I think pinkies are in two-rocket territory. Well, let's just keep the monsters near the Cyber Demon. Maybe I can beat this whole thing without firing a single shot, like the first map of TNT system control. Come on, guys. Fight the Cyber Demon. I have 50 shells. Probably would be a waste of ammunition to shotgun the Cyber Demon to death, but if I did it... He's got to be softened up a little bit. If I did it... Um... Then I could save my crystal. Crystal can kill the Cyber Demon in about three? Reliably? The Elemental Wand, that's what it's called. It's crystal's the ammunition type. It shoots some kind of, like, boulder at people. Or a mineral. So it's probably... Wasteful. No, that wasn't too bad. There's plenty of shells over here. I'll take it. Save the ammunition. So he took a decent amount of damage from that little skirmish. Because that should have taken about twice as long if he hadn't on full health, I think. I just picked that number out of thin air. I don't know that it's exactly scientifically twice as long. Okay. Well. I guess onward we go. I think one thing I appreciate is that the larger area is almost just like a glorified skybox. But the level itself is fairly linear and like could be contained within the confines of a normal Doom map. Uh, something like this would be very annoying. If I wasn't gliding down the stairs. And uh, couldn't aim downward trying to deal with those chain gunners would have been very annoying. And honestly kind of a mean setup. Oh, fuck. Kind of like that. Where was that from? Uh, there's a Revenant like 400 yards away from me, and he can still hit me with a homing rocket. Alright, we'll leave those guys there. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Oh, shit! I guess this isn't the end of the world, and maybe there are some secrets to find down here. I don't know. This is a signal to me to tell me to come this way. Ah. Well, there's a whole thing going on. Maybe I spoke too soon about the glorified skybox aspect. I have multiple paths I can take here. We are definitely doing the whole, like, a blight town thing. Look at this. Oh, am I under the stairs that I that I slid down earlier? Or is this just a different staircase entirely? Kind of turned around now that I have, uh... Oh, shit. I don't like that. Shit. That's homing. No, it's not. Oh, wow. I took a lot of unnecessary damage. 
Uh, maybe some of it came from behind, I guess. So I guess I can't t feel too bad. Hopefully. I'm going to save because I'm going to own it. I'm trying not to save scum like everything perfectly. I don't enjoy that. All right, blue key. Man, this is going to be a huge level, isn't it? Holy shit. So I think we got a, like a big non-linear open thing going on here. Giant chains hanging down. Good lord, what is this? I think I'm going to save this stuff for later. This feels like an arena. If I pick up all the health now, I won't have any to replenish me when I'm doing whatever fight this is probably going to be. So let's keep exploring elsewhere. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. Ah. Is this where I fell off? I think it is. Feels like it. Yeah, this is where I fell off. Okay. Made a little circuit. That's good. Fucking shotgunners, man. Come on. Come on, man. And maybe I should deal with this Kako who's been just following me around slowly the whole time. All right, well, that uh, didn't play out exactly as I expected, but I'm sure he'll be back in a little while. Come on, Mancubus. You're usually my guy for this kind of stuff. What are you doing? I know I'm like, oh, wow. Twofer with the super shotgun. What? I think he's dead, but I'm going to shoot one rocket that way just in case. Hey, buddy. Coming back? Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, all right. Now I've finally cleared this area so we can kind of like take a look at a few things. Um, I went... I don't think I'm completely sure how this clicks together. I've got so many different directions I can go. Up here. Wow. This is crazy. I hope I don't get too lost. Ooh. I don't need to waste those. I've got lots of rockets to waste. We'll do that instead. I like that we're good and stocked at least, you know. A lot of a lot of supplies at this point. So if we're gonna do a larger adventure map, you know, at least I got plenty of stuff to keep me going for a while. Um, all right, so that gave me the plasma gun. Now I can go down. I've kind of cleared that off the list at least. Finally, you know, good to hit a dead end. Good to hit a dead end. That is a way to get out of the swamp. Is that how... Did I go down that path earlier? I can get back down here by going this way and missing this jump. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, I definitely came through here. So... It's going to take me a minute to build a mental map, okay? Just, just work with me, okay? And down there I have not been... This area was where I took a lot of damage. There's all the different key areas. I'm trying to figure out how... Okay, what I'm thinking is... I wish I... Let's see. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention on the map which direction I came from. Holy shit, look at this map! I'm taking, I'm taking a sip of my beer and giving you an opportunity to take a sip of this map. Wow, that's crazy. So much detail. I wonder how long it took to make this. Because it was made by one person, Ramirath, and who did the... Oh, I didn't see who did the music. Alright, so... I think the way I came was... 
down that way. Yep, I slid down and killed all the chain gunners. I'm gonna jump down here. Sometimes I kind of forget that I can do that. I'm glad that guy didn't mess me up. I wonder if you're supposed to turn on fall damage in this. I hope not, because... I would have never figured out how to get back here. So this is where I came from. I just need to make sure... Okay, I came from here. I slid down the staircase. I'm going to need to jump into the swamp, I think, to look for keys. And I have a couple of paths. So this is helping me see what the different paths are. Is Does green meant to be the way that I go? No, okay, the green... It, yeah, green goes this way. And... This is where I fought... Okay. Okay. And green took me all the way back over to the plasma gun. Is that right? So green leads you to the plasma gun and that's a dead end. Alright, so I don't need to go the green way anymore. I uh, will look for... I'm looking for different keys, so I'm thinking we're going to be dealing with... I saw some blue flames earlier. There might be like a red flame somewhere. Oh, there's another green path. It's over this way. Anything. And I don't swim in any of these. Whew. Man, you could you could hide a lot more than five secrets in a place like this and not overstuff this map. Go back up this stairwell here. And how do I get to the blue way? Alright, so I'm gonna come up this way. This must be funneling me here to the this is oh no, why did I do that? Funneling me towards like a hub of sorts. So I need to get all these different colored keys. So let's start with this. Cannot go the blue way. I need the blue key to go the blue way. Curious and curiouser. And I came up the... Uh, that's the path I came up. This was another way to get up here. So there's multiple paths that take me this direction. It all leads this way. What's that? Ammo. I'll take it. I won't take that. That's mean. Really not nice to do that. Ooh, dodging too much. Let me slow down a little bit. I feel almost like having free look and jumping and stuff makes me play a little bit differently in terms of how I move. Hopefully not a bit, not an excuse, but it just kind of feels that way a little bit. All right, that's a way to go. I'm so turned around in this map. And I know how this, this leads me back up. I guess I'll just double check. So that was... I went that way initially. I have not gone this way. Because I don't recognize this and I haven't... Let's see. We just come through here. Right, 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 right. Now I recognize this. Okay. Ooh, boy. Oh, shit. That was not expected at all. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. I'm thinking maybe now that the path through here is not linear. I mean, it is linear, but the, you know, the, the area is non-linear in terms of different routes you can run through it. got mixed up or something. That sucked. Alright, we'll go ahead and there we go. Preload this thing again. I need to just update my save to here. Okay. Get this stuff. Get this. Get this. Hit him! Oh my god. Why can I not hit this fucking arch file? Ugh. So stupid. I mean, I Okay, I'm not really sure. There. Did 
This feels kind of like a completely different <laughs> sort of setup when I can look up and down and I can run underneath all the monsters because they're not infinitely tall. If you don't play Doom with infinitely tall monsters on, you're missing out on a huge degree of the challenge. <laughs> It completely changes the game. Oof. You absolutely need to, you absolutely need to use uh jumping in something like this. All right. That wasn't too bad. Once I kind of cheese the arch file situation, but you know, that's a cheesy setup like <laughs> It face you off against like a hundred monsters with two arch files in the middle and it's like it's it's a pop-up trap right some of that scripting at play so you can actually make it so that when monsters die when certain monsters die or when all the monsters die it allows the like a trigger to happen which is not something you can do in vanilla or boom and that is why you see a lot of fights where it's like there's a switch inside the monster closet that you have to hit to open it up or like the door is timed. You know, it takes a minute to open the door, stuff like that is because you can't just arbitrarily lock the player in without some uh, jigging things up. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna reload that. That's stupid. Okay. Oop. Came from that direction. Alright. Making some interesting progress. I can go... that way, and... I can go this way. This looks like it's gonna lead me somewhere, though, because the flames. So is the other path an alternate path? Hard to know. And it's huge. So it's not like I'm just going into like a room that's next to the one that I'm in <clears throat> that I'm going to go to. I'm going like a completely different way. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll take this. I'll take it. Who's showing up here? Anybody? Well, there's some volatile lost souls that explode when you kill them. Oop. <laughs> Probably would have just reloaded. All right. Well, I need to keep those in mind. Ooh. Yeah, pretty easy to kill, but you know, definitely worth making sure you don't leave them alive. Oh, you guys are just going to show up out of nowhere, huh? That's how we're going to do it. Just don't want to leave anything behind. Make any premature decisions. But this looks like... This looks like the way forward. Uh, another plasma gun. So that's cool. I like that there was an optional plasma gun that you find earlier. Than... where you would find it along the actual progression path. <clears throat> Makes this thing feel like just a giant adventure. Although I'm also a fan of maps that just make you find the gun. And if you don't find it, then that's kind of bad on you, you know. It's, sorry, it's your problem to deal with kind of thing. And I knew... I knew <laughs> when I saw the title of this map the first time that it was going to be a big one. But I didn't expect it to be like this. This is going to be nuts, whatever this is. I'm, I'm actually legitimately concerned. Two soul spheres and a mega sphere. I'm going to take the soul sphere first. Here we go. Whatever this is. Whatever this is. <clears throat> uh. 
All right. I gotta get that arch foul, but <clears throat> oh, I can't hit him too early. Oh, I think someone got him. I think someone hit him. Yep. There we go. Okay. One thing I'm thinking is that, given the density of really, really strong power ups in this fight, I think we're gonna get a round two. I think we're gonna get a round two when I clear this up a little bit. Because this was pretty tame. Probably don't need to use the super shotgun, for being honest. Oh, these guys are all infighting with monsters out here. They will probably not kill. I'm gonna take a sip of my beer while I'm waiting on this to play out. Oh wait, I think he did kill him. Well, good for you guys. Bullets. I always kind of laugh when I see bullets in a giant fight like this, like... When you have, like, a hundred rockets... It, yep, here we go, round two. <laughs> you have, like, a hundred rockets? Are you ever gonna need to use, like... The chain gun? Take this now. And I can just go back this way, so let's just, uh... Kite things in this direction. Oh, I cannot leave, though. So I guess I'll come back this way. Oh, man. <sighs> rockets following me? No? Alright. You know what? We'll clean it up with rockets. Alright, you know, I, I will run out of rockets eventually, but still. No, no need to use the chain gun in a fight like this. Oh, shit! There we go. That's what we saved all that ammo for. Oh, and another cyber demon. This guy I am going to kill with this weapon. He's almost dead. Alright, fuck it. There we go. Last time I fought a cyber demon with that weapon, I killed it in three shots, so... I'm not entirely sure what affected that, but... Something to keep in mind, I guess. I hope that one of these paths just leads me back to... the part of the map I need to go to. Although, I'll take this. Probably because... Probably, I'm not going to probably be this way again, so, you know. Wow. This map is crazy. I'm not normally a fan of maps that take this long, but I feel like we're, you know, this is a special event is what this kind of feels like. And it's like, it's playable, it's like decent, you know? It's not like just perfect, like just slaughter on every map. A lot of good incidental stuff, so... I'm willing to get lost in something like this for a while. Probably not going to play more than one today. Oh, that's right. This, this is where that went. Only thing is that, you know, the... read on where to go in this map. I It seems wrong to expect me to go backwards. But I can... Let's see. I don't think I need to jump down. Unless maybe jumping down will lead me back to the way I need to go. I don't know. Seems wrong. Um, I'll check. I was just down here, though, so, I mean, probably not a whole lot of chance. Just make one more pass, just to make sure that the whole thing is... Because I would overlook something, like, slightly obvious like that. I guess I should pick up all the ammo, at least. i just waste all that, unless... This thing went back up, I guess, to help me with the arch files and stuff. Can I uh, come back down and be a teleporter? That would be helpful. Alright, well... That seems weird. So, what I've, you know, generally appreciate about... Maps like this is they usually have a way of, like, leading you back to where you need to go and not requiring a lot of backtracking, but that's very strange that this... Seems like maybe that's what it requires.
I'm... That's weird. That seems wrong. It, like... Huh. Well, I can go back this way now, so hopefully... I don't need to go... Okay, I, I see. So, I do think that these, yeah, these kind of... I picked up the yellow key. That All the yellow torches were that direction. So, here is the yellow key switch. You know, so the map is doing a decent job at trying to lead you, at least. But it is weird how it, like, required me to backtrack over, like, all that cleared out area. What's in here? I can't see. Oh, I just gotta fall down this this giant pit. I'm kind of glad I've had a lot of plasma left over. Let's we'll switch to the super shotgun for a while. This map is probably just going to shower me in ammo on almost every fight. So, I bet I don't have to conserve it when I'm... I mean, I'll have to conserve it when I'm, like, out and about. Kind of like how I am now, but... When I get into a big fight, I'll be, like, replenished probably for the most part. Or be given a significant amount of extra ammo for things. Holy shit. This, I just can't even fathom what I'm looking at. This looks like the map for the new Zelda game. You know, ammo balancing is tough on big open maps. It, there's a lot of options for, like, how things can go, and so... You have to plan for a lot of contingencies. Here's the blue key. And... Oh, I have so much plasma. Start with this. Pain elemental. Uh-oh. I heard that. He's already mad at somebody else for a second. Give me just enough time to deal with that. Get fucked! Wow! I have never ever stun locked an, uh, an arch file like that before. That never happens. <laughs> what was the deal with that? That was weird. Oh, I did not want to pick up the mega armor. I didn't take that much damage. I'm not going to reload that fight. That's just going to have to be a consequence of what happened. Oh, that's it. We're done. I honestly expected that to be a two-stager. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, for a key fight, that was a little that was a little benign, wasn't it? This is another nice little Dark Souls type of thing. I mean, okay, I know I'm just comparing this to Dark Souls over and over again. I'm kind of doing it a bit facetiously, but also it legitimately makes me think of Dark Souls in a lot of ways. And an extremely long elevator ride is something that I expect to see in a Soulsborne game, okay? Give me a break. You know I'm right. Maybe it is a little bit trite at this point to compare something to Dark Souls, but it's just... Everybody's played it, so everybody understands what I'm talking about. Okay. Wow. All right, so the blue area... Okay, yep. See, I'm gonna leave this ammo alone. This is just begging to be a fight. And where... Oof. Where is the blue switch? I remember seeing blue torches on the cliff side where the blue switch was. So it's gotta be... I know it's in this area, I just don't know specifically where it is. I'm gonna be back this way in this... right? Yes. Nice. That's nice. <laughs> Green armor. How cute. What's this? 
It looks like it could be like a shortcut or something. Oh. I don't know. I've been doing terrible exploring, but maps like this, I'm just not good at uncovering stuff in, I think. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh oh. Oof. That was a little messier than I expected. I did not expect that. Let's go. I like how they give you like a frozen gargoyle on the top to kind of draw your attention. And then it's like, nope, it's actually 40 gargoyles. Snagged. I got snagged. Ooh. All right. One on one, these guys are all right, but man. When you have to fight, like, 12 of them at the same time, the stakes change a little bit. It was a good one. That was a little trickier than I was prepared for. But I have 100 rockets now. What do we got going on here? Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do with this one. Oh, I thought I was going to get that one on the first try. Ridiculous. Okay. Um, plasma gun is the way to go, but... You definitely gotta use the rocket launcher. Oh, God. Alright, this is tough. This is actually tough. I had a good show of it when I... Got the imps first. Oh, it's a mistake to come this way. Uh, I'm not relying on jump, like, nearly enough. I keep forgetting that I have the ability to jump. Ugh. Oh my god. Those pinkies, man. I just somehow cannot hone in, like get a lock on their their projectile ability. It, it gets me every time. Oh man. I just did that. I dodged into it. Oh my god. I almost fucked that up so bad. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, I'll go back and get that cute green armor again. This time. Uh... That was that was messy. That was rough. See that uh, that was an escalation. This went from pretty manageable to very challenging uh, in a quick hurry. But I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. I like it. I like the new the new monsters. A good good degree of permutation on the standard Doom formula. And I think, you know, the changes more or less fit in. Wow, that looks so cool. Is that the, uh... There's two chains. Oh, they just kind of dangle there. Oh, wait, what? No, no! Come on, let me look around. It's really mean-spirited to make a map that looks really good and then punish me for trying to just see what, what the map looks like. Very mean-spirited. Okay, you should not jump down here. Let's go back up. Well, I'm going to... By the way, this music is really good, and it reminds me of music from, like, Fallout 1 and 2. Stay here for one second. Oh, okay. That just made me really anxious for some reason. I had to just... Okay. Let me now actually take stock of what the hell is going on here. Because I couldn't... I had to cross a gigantic bridge to fight three revenants... So I don't get freaking murdered. I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. And I can see that down there. Am I supposed to go down here? Secret, huh? And a BFG. Where does this take me back to? It takes me here. Does that mean it's pot? So the BFG is like maybe a second secret? How do I get it? Come on. Give me the BFG. Oh, that's irritating. It's not even a secret. It doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see. I see. I see. All right, let's go for it. It is down here. You. Who's coming? Who's coming to get me? You guys are jerks. <laughs> that is a very mean trap for no reason. I mean, I know it's the BFG, but come on, man. You don't have to do that to me. All right, cool. Well, that's one. One little cache done. Let's try this one because I want to get this too. Want to top up all the ammo. I mean, I don't even have that much for the BFG, so. We'll go down here. And then we go down here. And that's a teleporter, so that means that. I guess that's the way to the back. Another secret. I went from like almost none to what? Four out of five. Wow. I kind of like how the secrets are. Mostly just ammo for the elemental wand, but it's like a really good thing to get. Here we go. See, we're coming back this way. And this has got to be like... It makes you pick that Megasphere up. Oh, you're going down? Wait a minute. Yeah, here we go. See, this is it. This is this is what we've been waiting for. It's why I did not pick up any of the... Holy shit. What is that? Oh. 
Holy shit. <laughs> I don't think I was expecting to fight like a horde of arachnatrons. Oh god. I hope I did not use the cells for the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's some good infighting. That's some good infighting. Alright. Switch to rockets. Rockets are nice and direct. Oh my god! I cannot believe that! That stone up was just standing there and he fucking got me. Completely blocked me in and then I just ate all of that damage. Ugh. Dude. These guys are actually capable of dodging, too, so that kind of sucks. Let's just hit him with this thing. Actually, you know what? That's not working. Where is he? Where's the other one? There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh. We almost done here? Oh, there's so many stone imps over here. Fuck it. Let's just do this. Ooh, man. That was a doozy. Not the hardest fight in the map, but it was very fun. Ah, what do we got here? Really? That's kind of weird. All that pomp and circumstance to climb up this fucking rickety-ass bridge. <laughs> Couldn't have even been like a cool like marble bridge or something. It was this crazy stupid rickety bridge that looks like they put it up yesterday. No, excuse me. A hundred years ago plus yesterday. Uh alright, well. Uh Revenant. Nope. Oh. I've already done it. Look, I'm just doing this because my save was too early. And saving actually takes a minute, so there we go. Or uh, loading, I should say. <laughs> cool. A big old 3D model skeleton. And I wonder. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, that was weird. It uh kind of stuttered on me and messed me up. I. So what I was trying to say is I, I wonder if I'm even like close to the end of the map or like what it's going to be. I mean, just anything is possible at this point. The beginning monster count when I started the map said it was like 278 monsters and we're at four, 658. Oop. And here's another like branching path type of thing going on. <laughs> Crazy. Just some like a little oasis with some health and ammo and stuff. I don't even really want to worry about these guys. There's no way imps are going to get up this platform. Yeah. That's mean! That's really mean! That's a good... That was a good setup, though. That was a good setup.
Just when I think I've got the last one. Okay, well, that was a little bit more than I expected, so good. Nice little subversion there. I certainly was not expecting to be ambushed like that. I don't love it when, like, when maps just constantly, you know, like, instant pop monsters and, like, summoning them like that in a kind of gotcha moment if they do it all the time but if if maps use it sparingly then you know i'm all for it it's cool Whew. well this is something else i mean every time i think i'm like i've got to be getting close to the end there's just like something else This could be like a two hour long map. Which I was not expecting to play a two hour long map. Um, red key. Okay, okay. Well, at least I'm like, I don't have to go looking for the red key. It's right there. But what I do want to see is... Okay, that's going to give me the key, I think. Yeah. I've got a lot of crystal ammo, so that's good. Backpack just in case you didn't get it the first time, huh? Imagine doing this without the backpack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oof. Couple of bad hits there. From an otherwise pretty good start. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, there's another arch file. There's at least one more out there. Okay, there's at least one more out there. Ugh. No. I actually kind of wanted to save the cells. I wanted to use the uh, elemental wand on that guy, but I didn't really want to fight or save in the middle, except for now. I mean, now that I'm like mostly out of danger. And I uh, I was in a bad spot. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's it, huh? Well, wait a minute. Did I see? Yeah, more ammo. So many rockets. The rocket launcher is like one of the worst weapons in this, uh, in this game. Just kind of, not not really. That's a weird thing, way to phrase it. It's it's. I feel less, like a, a, a lesser of an imperative to use the rocket launcher frequently. I'm just given so much like cells and everything else. All right. Well, I mean, look at look at my ammo. <laughs> my ammo situation is crazy. Uh oh. There we go. We have a really slow elevator now. How many cyber demons is that? Holy shit. 966 monsters now is the count. Huge caco swarm. This is stirring the pot. These cyber demons are like going to be the least threatening part of this fight. <laughs> Three of them in an arena like this big. Yeah, let's get these guys out of here. This is a real danger right there. A platform that's got a whole bunch of revenants on it. I'm gonna hide behind something for like a second, just in case there's like a uh, rocket swarm. Yep, there it is. I should have stayed put. Should have stayed put.
I don't know if I'm even hitting those guys with the rocket launcher. I'm gonna keep trying. At least they made the cacos mad. Wow. None of my rockets hit that guy. Kill him with the chain gun. I'm just gonna go ahead and save. This fight isn't really that threatening, if I'm being completely honest. It's just kind of like, run around in circles and... I wonder if that elevator's down. Yeah, I could go up the elevator now if I wanted to. But we don't leave cyber demons alive. So, we're gonna get them. It could be a slow elevator, too. It could be really bad with the caco swarm. <laughs> Are all the revenants dead yet? I think they're all dead. Wow, caco... Caco Swarm killed one of the Cyber Demons. Incredible. Yeah, the Elements of Wan having 515 ammo, and, and I don't think it uses... Does it use 100 ammo per shot? I don't think it does. It's like 50 or something. Or 80, or I don't know. It doesn't use that much. Uh, two cyber demons is like barely a threat with the elemental thing. You don't have to do the ridiculous ray, ray tracer shotgun to kill a cyber demon with that weapon, so. Alright, the cleanup here is honestly a little annoying just because there's so much space. Cyber demons are still just fighting cacos. Where is this revenant rocket from? Has it just been following me around the whole time and I haven't, like, detonated it? Here it is, still following me. It's just been following me around the whole time. Okay. Gotta clean this up. Wow, two cyber demons dead, and I didn't shoot at a single one of them yet. Wow, that's it, huh? Hundred percent kills so far. Nope. There's a whole another batch of monsters. I wonder if these imps like kind of slow you down. So if you do come up here and the cacodemons are chasing you, it's like you can't just run up this thing. Is this what it takes to get to the other side of that bridge? Wow, that whole thing was the other side of the... <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> take that into consideration for a second. Alright, I can't... You can't see where I'm pointing, but, I mean, this gray blobular rectangular an rectangular area, <laughs> the far right side of that is where we started. <laughs> and that tiny little gap in the middle of that is what made us have to go through the entire rest of the map to get back up here. I wonder if the scaffolding was, like, from the expedition crew or something. Wow. That map was absolutely insane, Ramirath. Holy shit. And the music by Primeval. That was incredible. That map was incredible. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Some of the fights are a little bit, you know, big and grindy and part time 22 minutes. Get off. Get out of my get out of here with that shit. There's no way part time 22 minutes. That's like a troll.
Wow. Well, um, yeah, some of the fights were a little bit, you know, maybe a little unwieldy. The space is just so big. I do feel like it's kind of appropriate for the territory, given the grandiose scale of the level. But also, like, you know... I don't know, you don't have to make every fight, like, 400 cyber demons. Like, whoa, it's crazy. But it is what it is. I'm just, you know... I'm just being a little nitpicky. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm not playing another map tonight. That was a lot. And uh, I will see you in the next video, though. And uh, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, see ya. Okay, whatever. Bye.